what, what do you call it? Kalalu or Kalalu? Kalalu. 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 <laughs> so I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Irina. I live in Jamaica and today we're going to visit a local marketplace. I have already made a video with grocery shopping in Jamaica at a supermarket and I promised to do a follow-up. So let's go to a marketplace and compare prices to see how much cheaper it is to buy your groceries at a marketplace in Jamaica like many locals do. There are five things I need to mention before we go to a marketplace. One, you need to bring Jamaican dollars with you. Small cash like $50 bills, $100, $500 and $1,000. This is just to make it more convenient for the vendors so they won't have to look for change which would save time for everybody. Number two, you need some sort of transport. It's better if you have a rented car or your own car but you can also charter a route taxi driver to take you to the market and then come back for you at a certain time. 3. I personally prefer to go to a marketplace early in the morning and hopefully on a day when there are less people, even if it means there would be less vendors too. It's just more convenient because it's not too crowded, which is especially important since I'm filming this during the Covid times. 4. Obviously bring your own bags. Vendors at the market will always have little bags to give you, but bring these big reusable ones. And number five, bring a very strong man to carry all these bags for you because of course you don't want to do this, right? So I'm lucky to have my husband who's coming now. <laughs> so he's going to carry the bags while I'm doing the video filming and buying of the fruits and veg. It is also important to keep in mind that when you're doing grocery shopping at local market in Jamaica, prices can vary significantly depending on the parish. For example, prices on a market in Falmouth, Trelawney, where we are going now, are about the same as in Montego Bay, St. James, but they are much higher than, say, on a market in the parish of St. Elizabeth. So please keep this in mind when watching this video. So we're going to Falmouth Market. Uh, I'm gonna use my little microphone maybe to take a few interviews if people would be okay with it. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you today? I'm good. What do you have for sale? Everything in Grand Provision. You can have a look. Okay, fantastic. So we would need carrots, Jamaican carrot. $300. $300? How much is a cucumber? $150. $150 per pound. Yeah. Okay. How are the things going with COVID? You have people come and buying things still? Yeah, but they use their mask and they sanitize. Yeah, sanitize. Mm -hmm. A little more, a little more. Eh? All right, they're looking extra. Eh? No, I'm going to get cucumber. Oh, cucumber. Mm -hmm. You want the native cucumber? Or yes, this one? I want the native ones. Okay. Where are they from? St. Elizabeth? Yeah. Yeah? Do you have anything like to grow in Trelawney at all? Yes, you have yam grow here, sweet potato grow here. How much is beetroot per pound? 300. 300 a pound for beetroot. Okay. In three, seven, one, seven, nine, six, seven. All these arguments. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Uh, can I film you? Yes. I'm doing yes. YouTube. You're, what's your name? My name is Michael, aka Stama. They call me Stama. My friends call me Stama. Ah, okay. What do you have for sale? Tell me, please. I have. I've got this is the pop chow. This is the yam. Mm -hmm. And this is the banana. Are they from here locally or you get them Albert from? Albertown. From where? Albertown. Albertown. So in yeah, Trelawney, up on the hill. Yes. Oh, are they from your farm or are you just getting yes, it? Yes. Oh, it's from your farm. Yes. Okay. Yes. How much is pak chow? 150. Per pound? Yes. Oh, I'll have three. Three. Okay. You want a potato? Yes, I want some. Mm -hmm. Small one Come can go. Well, yeah, well. that's good. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm good. Can I film you? I'm tired. Okay. No problem. No problem? No problem, sir. How are you today? I'm good. You're doing shopping on the market today? 
I'm selling in the market. Are you today. selling? Where, yeah. where is your? Where is your? Yeah, you see when you leave here, yeah. you come around and see a big cart around here. Over that side. Over that side. What do you sell? I sell a lot of things, man. All right, excellent. So, so three, uh, three pound, three pakcho and yeah. three pound of uh, potato. That's nine hundred dollars. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Pleasure meeting okay. you. I'll see you later. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. Uh, bye bye. You're Thank from you. Here? Yeah, man, live in Mumbai. You're from the States? No, originally from Ukraine. Ukraine. Hello, what's your name? My name is Diane. All right. Yes. Where are you from? I'm from Falmont. You have, uh, what's a cabbage from St. Anne's? Yes, St. Anne's. How much is it? Two fifty a pound. This one. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Oh, look at this weather. Yes. One. Two. Thank you. Thank you so much, bye. darling. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. bye. Oh my goodness. Look, it's a raining! Oh. oh, this rain! Can I film you? Huh? I don't like You know, you're shy? Okay, man, no problem. May I film you? Huh? No yeah. problem. Yeah. Uh, hi. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Charmin. All right. And where are you from? Trelawney. From Trelawney? Yes. Do you have Trelawney goods or do you have imported goods? Our J Jamaican goods. All right. Some are from Trelawney, others from where? St. Elizabeth. How much for it? Yeah, like a pound. A pound will be 300 a pound. Gungo? 400 a pound. 400 a pound. Okay. I don't know how to cook gungo. What is it? It's oh, you get this? this? Yes, it like, look like this. Oh, you cook like rice and peas. Oh, but I put red beans in it. Some people put red beans in it. So it's 800 for this? Yes. Uh, buy me this? 150? This be 450. Three of them. 450. Oh, it's 450 for three of them? Yes. Yeah, he like, yeah, it's for my husband. He loves bummy. Mommy, so you, yeah. you want the big one? This is no, no, How much is it? Too much. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to spend it. $900 for this. $900 so for yeah. this? Yes. Let's take a big one. Just fry it. And we can't keep it in the fridge or where do we keep it? Yes, it is. Yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah we'll have this. Jamaican scallion. And it's kind of on time for this. It's for the soup. Yes. yes, we use it for soup. We love it. Yeah, man. Just good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just have this here. 2050. Two. Don't have much money left. 50 me give you one second. 50 me. Thank you very much. All right, darling. Thank you for agreeing for the interview. I am Denise, I'm at the farm at my kids. Okay, nice to meet you. And I'm a vendor. I have sea peppers only for $600 a pound. Mm -hmm. We have these to me, they use in sandwich and on the, on the dinner. This is only $500 a pound. And we have these, we used to cut up in the meat, like if you're going to do brown stew, or in the callaloo, or in the, um, in the salt mackerel. This is very good, and this is a plummy tomato. This is only $500 per pound. And we have the nice natural thing. This is the Jamaican ginger. This is good for us. You use it in the tea. If you feel bad, you can put a little piece on your tongue to cut the bad feelings inside. And it's good in our drinks, our drink saril. We use the ginger to put in our drink. Saril drink for Christmas. That's our special drinks for Christmas. Very good drinks. And this is for under 300 dollars a pound. And this is the Jamaican ginger. What do you have from coming from Jamaica? Because the tomatoes are imported, are they? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you have from Jamaica here? Oh, okay. All right, we have this from Jamaica here. Oh, this is this good This is okra. the okra. We sell it like, for instance, $200 per dozen. These okra is good for the man. You give them, yes. Mm -hmm. It's good and good at this time, the time is cool. It, these, these okra is good to make babies. Very good. You can use to make drink uh -huh. with the ginger also, mm -hmm. and you can cut it up and steam it in the morning for um for breakfast. You can use it with the yellow yam or the green banana, 
and you can use it with your all your bread. Very good. Kalaloon. And this man we sell it for two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And this this also give you a lot of blood. Then this is from Jamaica. It's our Kalaloo. Okay, thank is you. From Trelawney? Yes, this is from here. Okay. Yes. Uh, are you from Trelawney? Yes, I'm from Farm of here. Okay, excellent. The yeah, these are imported. Which ones are local? These, these, these are carrots. Mm -hmm. This is from the Good Natural Parish, Saint Elizabeth. Oh, this nice. is our. This is a food. This is cocoa. What is? Cocoa. What is? Yes, I thought this it is was cocoa. Sweet potato. No, sweet potato is done here. This is cocoa. Oh. This is cocoa. We sell it for two fifty a pound. Very good in your soup. Keep your soup thick and nice. How this do you cook cocoa. it normal? If you not in a soup. You just peel it and cook it like with the dumpling, Boil? banana. Yam seed potato and Boil eat or fry? boiled. Boiled. Yes, okay. you can use this also to grater and make dumplings. Oh. Yes, cocoa. Dashi. This is dashin. Yes. Oh, it's um cassava, cassava. Some of the sister or brother. This is the dashin. This is from here also. How much is it? This is only two hundred dollars per pound. Okay. And you peel it and 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 use it in your soup. Have to thicken the soup also. And you can use it with the dumpling and your yam and your sea potato, etc. This is very good. Okay. Yes. We call this sweet yam. Oh. Yes, sweet yam. Okay. It's very soft, like the like the green banana. It's very good. This is a good, nice yam. If it's too hot, it will burn up your mouth. You have to mind you with this yam. Oh. And it's very good for breakfast, lunch, dinner, etc. This is from Jamaica. This is from um. See Clarendon, Clarendon this yam come from. Is Maybe St. Elizabeth also. Back in the country this yam come from. Is I don't it? think it's in, um, in Chilani here. Boil it's it? Clarendon, you, you boil it, yes. You boil it? Oh, you fry yeah. it? Can you fry it? No. No, you can't fry it. You have to, you have to boil, boil it. it. Yeah. Boil it. Mm -hmm. Yes. See potatoes also from St. Elizabeth, Clarendon, Man uh, Man Manchester, all over. Mm -hmm. Top Chilani also. That's, so you can peel it and you slice it and fry it. It's very good. With your, with your um, steamed fish or your fried fish, etc. Thank you so much. I'm you're, you're absolutely <laughs> amazing. No, Thanks. it's so good. <laughs> Onions. Oh, these are hard. These are good ones. Let me hear. Oh, yeah, let me do this. All about And then you put it inside your bag, yeah. okay? Uh huh, yeah, man. That can work. Do you do a lot of cooking? Yes. Are you good at cooking? Yes. Can I take an interview while you're cooking some local Jamaican dish and when I make that? a video? I don't know, whichever. <laughs> you tell me. You tell me. You tell me. Oh, okay. It's heavy. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you carry this? Wow. Some That's ladies are strong. Yes. Ah. Take up your one. Dig in. Uh huh. All right. All right. Please note, the time of the year and weather can influence prices and availability. Just because Jamaica has summer all year round doesn't mean we have the same type of fruits and veg all the time. This video was filmed in the beginning of December and now, for example, there are no mangoes but plenty of avocados. This is pear. Back home in, in America you call it avocado. This is very good to eat with bulla, bread, rice, dumpling, <laughs> jenny cake, etc. Pear, aka avocado. Though some things will always be there, like bananas, pineapples or papayas. If there is no season for some specific vegetables, they will get imported, not only to a supermarket, but to a marketplace too. Is potato from where? America. And this onion is Jamaican onion? No. Abroad? Mm -hmm. No. All right. Your tomatoes, are they Jamaican tomatoes? No. No? It's no, the crop pepper? was short because of the rain. Oh. These are American tomatoes. Do you have Jamaican tomatoes no. somewhere on the market? No. Or no. Them? These items get imported to Jamaica not because shops, markets or hotels don't want to support local farmers, on the contrary. But in certain months of the year, these goods are simply not available from local farms. So we either don't have them at all, or we buy the imported ones. From Holland? Why not deliver a potato from somewhere like Ukraine, from Eastern Europe, where potato costs like 20 times less? Really? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, from Canada? No, this is better. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from South Westmoreland. You live in Falbeth right now? Yeah, uh, Papaya. 
Uh-huh. Honey banana yeah, from Trelawney. From Trelawney bananas. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to have bananas from you as usual. Uh, what about your pineapple? Where is it from? St. Elizabeth. Pineapple? I also have grape. Yeah, but it's important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do many people buy grapes in Jamaica? It's just so expensive. Yeah. But people still buy them? But basically, it's still record just the same. Yeah. It's only different is your country, a dollar is a dollar. <laughs> but when but when you do all that adding up it's work all out. Mm -hmm. Just the same. This would be this would be like three and a half. Three and a half pound? Yeah. And how much is it? Five twenty five. Five twenty five for this. Yeah? Uh-huh. Let me see. Is that soft? No, this good. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'll have this. I'll have this one. Thank you. It's only three and a half. Okay, yeah, so you, your eyes know it. <laughs> you can tell right away. Uh, you want me to peel it? No, no, we're good because it's going to sit for some time before we're going to eat it. So These don't ripe too much in our apartment. I don't know. They just don't. How much are they? Yeah, this is like 300. For it to ripe, you got to wrap it with somewhere warm. Okay. Sometimes it takes like a week, sometimes like three days, you leave, you leave to how much the man and a fit. It's, my problem is that the ants can find it. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> yes. It's sweet. <laughs> That's the reason why. So what, what do we need to wrap them up with? Cleaner paper. All cleaner paper? Yeah, you can just wrap them Okay, and then I need the bananas. I need a honey bananas? Yeah, honey, one honey bananas? Yes. Yeah. How much are these? These for 200. 200 this thing? Yeah. Uh, can you wait it for me? Like, how much is it per pound? I just try to work it out, like, how much, you know, compared to supermarket prices. Then, you know? Okay, uh, that's a um, pound and a half. Pound and a half. Yeah. So, and this one is what, 200? Yeah. So, it's what, like what, 150? What happened is that we don't weigh this, we count it. Oh, you can We'll count it. So I like oh. two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. This is a dozen. Okay, I see. So you yeah. don't wait it, you just count the bananas. Yeah. This is when it becomes very easy for shopping, yet very confusing if you wish to compare prices. Sometimes the price is quoted per pound, sometimes per bag, or per dozen, or per item. A supermarket in Jamaica always quotes prices per kilogram, and this is where the catch is. Here is an example. Cucumbers in a supermarket are almost 400 Jamaican dollars per kilogram, while on the marketplace in the same parish, you only get them for 150 a pound. However, 150 a pound is actually 330 per kilogram, because one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. So the market price is almost 20% lower, but it certainly isn't half the price like some people think. But if you want to support local farmers, of course it is better to buy from a marketplace or directly from along the road. Especially if you see small farmers who do not have the quantity to supply the demand of supermarkets or hotels, so their only option is to sell on the market or by the road. At the same time, feel free to buy from bigger settings like this one-stop shop. This way you support farms from all over Jamaica, the companies that buy and deliver the goods to the market, and the people who work directly at the marketplace. Hello, sir. We're back. What's your name? My name is Roy. Uh, where are you from? I am from Chilani here. From Chilani locally? Yeah, but I live in a, live in up, up in the hills, that one village. Okay. How much is Kalalo here? Kalalo is cut up one. Yeah, the cut up one. $200. A pound? $200 per bag. And a non cut up one? The one where don't cut up, $150. What else do you have? Plantain you have? Plantain, oranges, lettuce, callaloo. Sorry? $300. Plantain is $70 per finger. I have orange for $600. Uh -huh. I have orange for $800 and orange for $1,000. Oh, okay. Where are they from? They are from. Karen Dan. I have pumpkin last pumpkin for 150 per pound and I have sweet potato. Okay. A lot of sweet potato here. Oh, 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 oh. We're gonna get oranges from you and I'd like to get shredded kalalo from you. Oranges from Karindan. Which yes. ones? Let me just get the place named Frankfield. Uh-huh. Which ones which ones are which? You said why is uh, 
thousand. Yeah, this is thousand. Oh, Big it's a bigger. Stone. So it's for a bag. Yeah. So the price is for a bag. Yeah. Oh, that's too much. Yeah. <laughs> and these are Artinique. Artinique orange. That's orange, but the name is Artinique. Okay, okay, okay. Small one is good. No, I should Kalalo here today. What, what do you call it? Kalalu or Kalalo? Kalalu. 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 <laughs> so I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Three and five. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, you have a great day. I'll see you soon, alright? Tell me, what's your name? My name is Marcia. Where are you from? I'm from Manchester, but I live in Trelawney. How's, how's it going now with the COVID though? People come to the market still? Yes, but you know, they have to come and get their little food to eat because food is the stuff of life. So they have to come and get their little food, but the market is not like first, everything just goes, you know? slower now. Yes, yes. My name is Sharon. All right, where are you from? Well, I'm from St. Catherine. What a long way! Yes. So do you live in Falmouth now? Yes, I live in Egg. Orange from St. Catherine. What about avocados? They are from St. Anne. They're big and nice. Uh-huh. Oh, these are excellent. Okay, we need avocado that is soft, like this ripe one. Semi-ripe one, kind of harder one. No, this is too soft. You know, we're trying to buy a little bit from everyone. everyone yes, yeah, yes, so yes. that everyone can, you know, okay, no uh -huh, make a little business. We have some nice pine over there. Now, what are they called? Sugar pine. Sugar pine? Yes. Cheese pine, sugar pine. These are big pineapples. Look at them. You don't mind them more? Yes, my now, let me take a photo of you. Look at them. Goodbye. Excellent. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, darling. All right. Now it's sunshine again. <laughs> oh, this weather today. We're coming. All right. This is what, why it's good to have a strong man by your side who can carry all these bags. It's nice to have a car rented so that we can carry all the goodies. Okay guys, I must tell you, it was a little bit difficult to do shopping and filming at the same time. However, the main point was to show you the market and the lovely people there. And I hope that um, you have found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you'd like more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Irina and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.